Just, you know, shovel out the chocolate. I mean, <laughs> that's, that, it sounds like that's an interactive experience all its own. Oh, my. <laughs> there you go. I actually was out at the Dallas Chocolate Festival last year, and they do have a wide array of options and lots of chocolates for everybody out there, Robbie. You could find something that you absolutely adore, which is not hard with chocolate. I mean, <laughs> if it's chocolate, chances are you're going to like it, and hopefully you're going to enjoy this forecast. If you like fall weather, you're going to enjoy it because that's what we have on the way for this weekend. We're getting that taste of autumn with drier that moved in behind a cold front yesterday. Even some quote chilly mornings ahead might not be chilly by your standards, but at least compared to triple digits that we've seen recently getting down to the upper 50s. It's going to feel nice and refreshing out there, but we are tracking some midweek rain chances. We're watching an area of low pressure in the Gulf, and that's likely going to bring some showers mainly south of I-20 as we head into our Wednesday and Thursday. But before that gets here, we've got nothing but sunshine. Look at this clear blue skies out over Fort Worth. We do have a bit of a breeze out of the northeast, and that's going to be gusty this afternoon. But that's also helping to keep our temperatures down. We're down five to seven degrees cooler than the same time yesterday morning and tomorrow morning. We're going to see temperatures about five to ten degrees cooler than where we're sitting right now. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. So we're at 71 right now in Fort Worth, 73 in Dallas, 70 in Terrell and Greenville, even still some upper 60s around Bonham. If you wanted to head outside, go for a walk or bike ride. Today is definitely the day to do it because we're going to see those highs topping out in the mid 80s. We're not going to see that heat index because we have that dry air in place, but you are going to be contending with a bit of a wind out there. It picks up a little bit more as we head into the early afternoon hours, maybe some gusts around 25 to 30 miles an hour. But these winds are going to start to subside as we head into the overnight. That mixed with clear skies and that dry air in place means a rather chilly morning on the way for Sunday. We're looking at a lot of 50s throughout the area near sunrise, maybe still in the low 60s, though, around Dallas. By the afternoon, more sunshine. We're back into the 80s. And then Monday morning will likely be the coolest one that we're going to see this weekend. We could even get some upper 40s out there, especially in our rural areas. So that means the kids heading back to school. I'm Monday, they're probably going to want that extra layer. But I mentioned that we were watching for a disturbance in the southwestern Gulf. It has a medium 60% chance of developing as we get into the middle of the week. This is going to bring some heavy rain right along the Texas coast, but it could even continue to track a little bit further north, pushing some of this rain into parts of North Texas. It looks like Wednesday into Thursday would be our best chance for seeing some of those showers in our area, but you'll notice it's pretty scattered. Definitely the heaviest rain is going to stay focused south of our area. But that first alert seven day forecast is looking pretty amazing right through Tuesday. Highs around 90 degrees and then you may want to keep that umbrella nearby for Wednesday and Thursday. All right. Thank you so much for that update, Brittany. And